Mary.
in the first film. The second film actually is, is actually shows that this is not the, the people together they're not they're not against the social economic system. They're against that one party rule that corrupted uh, the country or uh, run by corrupted uh, bureaucrats. But of course uh, because of the the Western dominated narrations, it's, it's, it's just kind of like anti-communist uh, <laughs> propaganda. But I, I can see uh, what I see in, the, in, in what happened in Poland, in the Eastern Europe, people they don't want to get rid of the uh, what, what, what the, 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 the welfare the welfare is, uh, social economic system. But what they get after the, the regime change is the free market. The uh, worst it actually happened in Russia where they have the what do you call the shock doctrine. So, yeah, that's uh, the great ten years of uh, chaos, and then after that, the rise of uh, the state bureaucratic uh, regime, uh, the state bureaucratic capitalism regime, to deal after that. So these are the, some of the lessons we can learn from, and the inspiration we can take from is how we create of the thing. But I think there are a lot of things still we we have to discuss actually. And now, of course, we are every uh, way we, we we shouldn't uh, build it, uh, the difference that we don't get from the regime, but we still can continue this have to build. Uh, mature, uh, mature uh, uh, civil society that can keep the dominant future um, uh, check. That's my two sentences. Thank you. Uh, what 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 is that is true? These two very more uh, documentary are made by US, and actually it's called a series of movies that promote non-violent uh, action. That's called a more forceful forceful. Uh, power. You can search the internet to, to check for more documentary. Uh, okay, to continue, um, maybe who would like to say something? Jana? Uh, say Anna Mount to Malaysia. Do you have some few words to say, to share? Eh? Come forward. Uh. Because the fact that they stopped the movie at that part of uh, Poland election, really, I know why. Because you know what, like, the did after that, right? You know, so, so it's not a very good lesson for Malaysia. Okay. Uh, but I think more important is uh, the condition, uh, the socialists will call it the objective conditions in both countries, economic uh, difficulties. People are faced with economic difficulties. Malaysians right now are still rather comfortable except the uh, above 40% uh, group households and they don't feel it yet. But if it comes to economic crunch, then we talk about regime change. But I think the lesson we learn is how do we ensure, try to ensure at least in what's for us next round is the free and fair elections. Like the way they organize the uh, the uh, people at the polling stations and got the results beforehand. So I think there's something there which probably in Malaysia or Ottawa people are doing, which we can organize ourselves. But I think it's not easy to get so many numbers. Malaysians are not very good at volunteering for this. They can talk for the whole volunteer. You can ask uh, if I want. So that, these are the realities for Malaysian society. Of course, we have the additional problems of uh, Everything is used, uh, seen from an ethnic, religious mindset. You know, every event is interpreted that way, therefore it becomes a bit difficult to mobilize people uh, along so-called democratic principles and lines like that. Uh, maybe lastly, what to best is uh, you can change a government, but uh, power gets to people. Uh, so it's for the people to be vigilant all the time and organize ourselves to make sure that they're kept in check, like whoever it is in the So that's the first thing. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Diana. Talking about the monitoring the general election, uh, I'm thinking of the, this John Pandao. Uh, Ingui, do you want to say something about John Pandao and uh, how do you think about uh, what happened in so we are <laughs> I was just prepared for this. Uh, actually, John Panda is organized by uh, Per Se 2.0 and also uh, 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 Mafre and Kaumasa. So uh, the intention is to invite 
the public, uh, the, the citizens to, to involve in the monitoring because we know that the monitoring of the election is so important. Of course, we recognize that uh, the parties themselves, the candidates, to, to recruit their own Pachapal people. We encourage that uh, they should go in, into the polling station. But outside of the polling station, no doubt, uh, we are not allowed to enter the polling station, but then we still can demonstrate to the, the people, the whole nation, the election is under uh, surveillance. Okay? So we know that uh, our SPR, the Election Commission, they, they announced that they have uh, appointed a few NGOs to become the aggregated uh, party to enter, huh? entering the polling station, and they can monitor the election. So uh, it's true, it's true, not, not wrong, but then there are some restrictions over there. So the numbers of uh, monitors, huh? I mean, the observers can enter to the polling station, and so forth, and they cannot simply review the information. But we are working closely with them. Okay, so uh, no problem. So for Zhong Patao, we try to recruit 10,000 people throughout the nation. But then uh, at this moment, we have recruited 2,000. Okay. Well, still not a big number yet. But uh, we believe once uh, our uh, make announcement, the parliament is dissolved, then. I think the crowd will, will be coming. Okay, we are not uh, competing with uh, any parties or any candidates. Uh. Please go uh, your full force uh, to look for your Pachapa people first. We are coming. Okay, so uh, we, will, we will help each other. Okay, in this generation, and this is the time now. Uh, Ini kali lah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, those interested to be the Pajaba, you can search online the John Pantau or Tindak Malaysia for more information and register yourself. Uh, can I hear some? What happened to now? Malaysia Kini asked for volunteer to be observer. What happened to that program? Yes, yeah, okay, it's also those uh, interested to be the those uh, journalists to uh, to help Malaysia Kini uh, as a reporter. They are welcome also to to. It's just that we I, I can't answer for them. <laughs> no, no, they are asking for election observer. Yes. Which they, they call for students and journalists or anyone to write. Mm -hmm. But they, the main point is of election observer. Mm -hmm. They want to train them. Yeah. Have they anything to do with New York? No, not really. No. No. They are different group. Different. They are citizen journalists um, by, uh, from Malaysia TV. And uh, the one not citizen journalists, they are asking for students and all that to be election observer. No. It was on their website a uh, yeah, few days ago. As my understanding, is uh, that is the uh, CJ, right? CJ Malaysian, uh, Malaysia Kini, citizen journalist or something. No, 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 it's different. Maybe everything is. So, yeah. Okay, I think uh, we, we do work together, okay? But we split our, our job function. The CJ actually. Uh, observing the, the, the free of uh, access to the media. So they're going to count the numbers of uh, uh, press coverage on the opposition, on the ruling parties, and so forth. There are a group of students that are actually doing this task. And for Malaysia, I'm not so sure. Uh, I believe they are actually getting uh, the, the citizens of involvement so that they can publish the news as soon as possible. They can get all the new happenings everywhere during the election day, especially. But our duty is very different. We try to gather the data, okay? Whatever fraud, whatever complaints, we will try to uh, gather all the data throughout the global nation. We want to see whether it's a percentage on certain fraud, okay? We want to publish it as a report. There is a difference between uh, Malaysia Kini and the Zhongbata. Zhongbata, we, we have a, another system to publish the information. Hope this answer your question, or you can call to Mercedes to get more information. Uh, can I have more uh, opinion or sharing? Uh, we have uh, two senior citizens behind. Do you have something to to share? Right, sir. Uh, Not appropriate. No. <laughs> uh, this uh, this uh, kakak. Ada apa nak berkongsi lah? 
Nah, cek up sikit Pandangan selepas No Okay Hard 
in a way to find out the information. For example, a uh, few of you have, the two first speakers have already indicated that is problematic with the two documentaries shown here. So this comes from experience. And it is, it is a duty of your preparation, and of course, I'm not faulting you. But, but there is always a precondition why this happened. And after this happened, why are the people not happy because of the perception of that? The most important message I, I take from this is that five or ten years afterwards, you go into this society and ask the people on the ground, public action, which I did in Poland in 2001 and 2002, the people are not satisfied with what happened. It's because the power is being replaced by another group who has the power. The so-called propaganda that you can have open democratic society, it did not really work out because uh, it does not happen. So I think the most important thing that the opposition can work here in this country is that they assure that those who create the regime change will assure that the civil society is strong enough that it will not replace one power with another group of power, that this power has to be shared with everyone, the public. Uh, maybe you can talk about more about, more about the Poland experience. Because they complain 10 years after this episode that the democratic environment they hope that come with this change of uh, government did not realize the, peop the poor people remain poor. A few of the officers of the Solidarnos benefit from it, but most people did not benefit from the new democratic country that Poland was in 2002, 2003. So they are not happy about it. it because that it was replaced by another group of people who are powerful. And Lake Valencia, who became the president, he failed totally in his job. He was good in negotiating, but as a president, in a democratic country, he failed his job. So it takes more than just one charismatic person, it takes more than a small group of people. So everyone has to work hard together to make sure that, that the power are being shared. Yeah, I heard about some similar comment also, that after, after democratize, the Poland actually they embraced uh, some new liberal policy. Uh, Jinghai? I think it's a dialectical process. It's, it's how, about how you're creating spaces. When you at a, a very repressive uh, situation, you know, have no spaces. But you see, uh, throughout the last 10 years, you can see spaces are opening up. Why the spaces are opening up? Because there's, um, the, the civil society's uh, opposition is getting stronger. And you push the limits, it's open up spaces. But you need more spaces. And regime change is, uh, is open up. It, it, it's uh, possible to open up more spaces if there's a regime change. But it's not guaranteed that well, we will we achieve well, well, a utopian whatever after that. But the, 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 it is open spaces for uh, civil participation, for people to voice up and keep the government in check. And, and these spaces is very important. If we have more spaces, that means we have more freedom to speak and think and also to move. And, and it, it will help to build, uh, well, uh, maybe some, sometime it will have a backlash, uh, but it, it depends how, how the, 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 strength, the strength of the civil society, the civil society, the workers, the peasants, the, the ordinary people, middle classes, are, they, are, these, are we organized and, uh, and, and, and empowered in, in this process? I think it's for us, it's important that we're talking about birth state, uh, the Himpunan Tijap, it's, uh, it's, it's not about uh, Ambika or, or, or Wong Tak. It is the people, people as the agents, the protagonists of the change. I think this is uh, much more important to stress on. And one more thing is uh, if, if elections happen and then the uh, Pakatan uh, win, and, if, uh, and then there are some sections in the uh, ruling uh, regime now trying to disabilize the government, uh, not recognizing the result, are we prepared to go to the streets to defend the new government? I think this is a challenge to us. If this happens, and I think yeah, and it's, uh, it, it, it is it's a test uh, uh, for, for uh, whether we are, we are strong enough to, to push forward the, the, the change. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think what you guys say is true. Democracy doesn't guarantee a, a better future. 
but it's a, it, it let people have the chance to choose to elect the government by the people and for the people. And uh, I think Chao Ying, you have to say something because Kok Hua already left. No, no representative from the Chinese system because people are like committee. Look at Selangor, you know, Ali, he 
stood on his feet and he fought against those corporate figures and all that, and the big race, you know, with Sebas and all that. But when you look at Penang, in fact, now the regime change for Penang is that we have to kick out the Lincolnian government <laughs> because uh, they, are, they have made no change, they only change the face, but the heart is still the same. He carried on the entire, you know, uh, what, uh, mega projects of the previous regime. If he, he, he was Kali, he would have stopped immediately all those pro projects and refer to the people, get consensus from people like, like this police leader. He, he, every, everything they do, get the people's uh, response. But now he's doing it on his own way. So we must realize that in, in uh, certain states, we need a regime change of the ruling party. In other states, we need a regime change of the opposition party. Thank you. Uh, thank you. My personal opinion, we must have change in federal level first. And because we must break is a yes. monopoly in the politics. And they are, at this moment, <laughs> there are no level playing field for this uh, ruling party and opposition party. So we must uh, return, uh, make sure all the institutions of the government are really in independent, fair, and opposition has a chance to 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 be the to be power. That time, I think we can we can say, oh, if Lee Kuan Yew or Kali, you are not doing well, you can go. I, I think, fully agree. You we yeah. need to overthrow the federal government once and for all. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I think. Uh, I, that, <coughs> someone who talked just now uh, about the be too I say dependent on the parties I think uh, from because I just returned to Malaysia like two months um, ago uh, I feel that we Malaysian we um, put all our hopes on Pakhtaraya maybe to uh, overthrow BN but we as citizens in this country, we can actually mobilize ourselves to do something instead of um, yeah, depending everything, every hope to Bakanan Raya. They are, I mean, I mean, this is our country, it's not their country only, okay? We Malaysian, we can make change by ourselves, not really depending on like, um, you know, Lim Guan Yin or uh, Anar Yibar, him, just uh, an individual. Yeah, just my because I think um, like a, a superpower cannot be okay. I believe that um, a superpower cannot um, corrupted or be defeated by the by other thing, but it can only be corrupted by itself. So I think BN is um, I mean not BN, um, yeah BN is corrupted enough. So we. What we need to do is only like push them, and then it will like pop. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. If no other comment, then we, I, I would like to end today's uh, this uh, screening and, and discussion. And uh, I say sorry again to everyone for the not happening of, of the forum. And also thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you.